Hey there. So, uh, I got invited by Adam and Brad, who you may recognize from the Beacon of Creation podcast, and also from my chat right now, uh, depending on which side the chat's on for you. Uh, I was invited to join the Commander Boxing League. Sadly, I could not afford to buy a box of Commander, but what I could afford is all of my old leftover packs that I've just had stuck in... I'd say in the closet, but I'm sloppier than that. They've really been behind the couch for, like, six months, and they were in the closet for, like, a year before that in some cases. Uh, so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open them newest to oldest. Uh, we're going to start with Ikoria and work our way back. Uh, I did have the card recognizer set up. I had it set up right up here, and uh, it was not functioning. It could not... At first I thought, oh, maybe it's the card I picked, because I picked one of those uh, Pringle Foil uh, Mountains. In fact, no, not that one. Where'd the Pringle Foil Mountain go? This Pringle Foil Mountain. Look how pringly this is. It's so Pringle. Uh, so then I thought, oh, well, maybe it needs a non-Pringle card. So I got this non-foil uh, radical idea. And uh, the half of the program was recognizing it, but it wasn't loading on stream. And rather than use the very cumbersome workaround, I went, screw it, you're going to be looking at the cards directly here anyway. Uh, I do have the, you know, I'm going to turn the rainbow off. I don't think the rainbow is doing anyone, is the light doing anyone any favor? Oh, wrong, wrong button. Uh, yeah, we need the light. There we go. Okay, uh, and since the last time I saw Brad and Adam in person was at Magic Fest 2019, thank you for the follow back there, Adam, uh, I grabbed my Loading Ready Run Magic Fest Vegas 2019 playmat with, uh, Gibbs and Bartleby there. That's what I'm going to be opening on. Uh, I'm not necessarily going to be seeing the chat all the time, because I'm going to be looking this way, and I'm actually going to kill my webcam right now to save bandwidth to make sure the cards come in in all of their beauty. It's going to be great. So now... Oh no, I'm a ghost! I turned into this skull! That's... I am now Antler for all of my Fallout fans out there. Uh, God, I want to play New Vegas again. No. Now is the time to focus on magic cards. Okay, oh, I should pull my trash can over so I can throw away wrappers easier, because being neat is important. So we're going to start with some Ikoria. Alrighty. If I can remember how to open a pack of magic cards, it's been so long. So, so very long. Yeah, now is just opening packs. And then building my deck with these packs. No, no, why are you joining me? Alright. Well, apparently Prayer wants to sit here live. Uh. So, let's see what I got here in this Ikoria pack. We got a Human Soldier token. Eh. Alright, we have a Thieving Otter. A Mutual Destruction. Spell Eater Wolverine. He's the best at, there is at what he does. Uh, an Adaptive Shimmer, actually, color should go over here. Quuberg. Hmm. Quubergum. There we go. Uh, Phase Dolphin. Bushmeat Poacher. You shouldn't eat that much bushmeat. That's how you get Ebola. Uh, Adventurous Impulse. Which, did, didn't this just get reprinted in Zendikar? I'm not sure. Patasia Tiger. That's a type of tiger, definitely. Ooh, Cloud Piercer. I love Cloud Piercer. He, I'm hoping I get a red commander purely for him. Uh, actually, I don't care. What I'll, I'm going to see what legendaries I get. Survivor's Bond. Yes. No, I'm just in dream. Okay. Survivor's Bond. Uh, Indatha Crystal, which I'm actually going to count as multicolored because it's a mana rock. Archipelagor. Uh, that's the Leviathan that looks more like a turtle crab, and it should be a turtle crab. I think it should be a turtle crab. Uh, I won quite a few Ikoria drafts with that. Easy Prey. There we go. Genesis Ultimatum. Ooh. And a Plains. It just doesn't matter. Alright. And now we have Not King Kong to fight Not Godzilla's on this plane. Uh, and I'm hoping I get a Legendary, because I do have three packs of Dominaria coming down the way. So, worst comes to worst, I am guaranteed three possible Commanders. Alright, we have Blade Banish, also known as... And then Wanderer showed up for like five seconds. Uh, keep Safe. 
Dark Bargain. Bark Dargan. <laughs> uh, Blister Spit Gremlin. I do like him. He is also very fun. Greater Sandworm. Great uh, reprint from Almond Cat. Hi, everybody. Savai Sabretooth. Fully Grown. Which is just... Uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a better uh, giant growth. But um, it does let you keep the trample. Vulpikeet. Vulpikeet's fun. Glimmerbell. Ooh, we got a variant Majestic Oricorn. So that, that's actually a lot of fun right there. Dire Tactics. Rooting Mola. Oh, I got Luca. I can't use him as a commander, but it's neat to see him. Oh, it's Rooting Moloch. I haven't actually looked at this. So he's a Cycle Matters card. A 4-4 four, four for 5. Nurse Battlefield, Exile Target card with a Cycling ability from your graveyard. Until the end of your next turn, you may play that card. Okay, so he's Impulsive Card Draw, kind of? Um, we got Luca, which no Planeswalker Commanders is my understanding, but... Oh, okay, Adventurous Impulse is here. Adventure Awaits is Zendikar. Got it. Uh, da, 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 there we go. I need the presidential march. I don't know. Uh, Dreamtail Heron and a Thornwood Falls. Okay, Thornwood Falls might be an important land, and we got a dinosaur token. Great. So I'm kind of excited about Luca. Um, because he is impulsive card draw, but it only counts for creatures. So if I end up going with a very creature focused deck in red, he could be helpful. Uh. I'm hoping this is good enough quality. My problem is that it kind of blurs out when you get to over here uh, with what I got. But uh, it, it, I'm hoping... It, oh, you know what? No, you know... Ooh, that's an issue. My lines are falling off. And yeah, let's get this last pack of Ikoria open. It has uh, Vivian on the front. There's crinkled up Vivian for you to look at. There we go. And uh, our token this time is the little punch-outs. Those are kind of nice. We got a Gloom Pangolin. Dang, pangolins. Ruining everything. Frenzied Raptor. A good reprint from Ixalan. Evolving Wilds, also known as the Budget Fetch. For when you can't make Fetch happen. Uh, facet Re... Oh my goodness. Look how... Look how pringled this already is. And this was literally in pack until... Two minutes ago. Come on, Dreamtail Heron. Get, get your head in the game. Unlikely Aid. This is a good reprint. I prefer the War of the Spark art than this, because this means nothing to me. Uh, Blazing Volley. Sure. Essence Symbiote. Imposing Vantasaur. Ooh. Comic Art Cavern Whisperer. I do like that. Ooh, and a Migratory Great Horn. Fond of that card. That card has also won me a lot of drafts. Lead the Stampede. Look at the top five cards your library. Ooh. Ooh. You can draw up to five creatures, right? That is what green card draw should be. Uh, Mystic Subduel. Great. And Insatiable Hemophage. Alrighty. And Song of Creation. Ooh, what is this? You may play an additional land on each of your turns, and if you cast a spell, draw two cards, begin of your end step, discard your hand. Ooh, that last part's what makes it mean, isn't it? You're awfully tempting. I do... I'm kind of hoping I end up in Teamer now, because I got two good big Teamer spells. Alright, no legendary creatures yet. No possible commanders yet. Um... Yes, mine is in widescreen. I, I can set up the widescreen function, and I've done that here. That's part of the reason it's a little blurry on the edges, though, admittedly. Um, I might be able to pull it in a little bit. And that, no, you know what? It's this angle. Uh, as I mess with everything, and I just end up putting it back because it was working fine. All right, uh, I'm going to move my lands off. We So far, there's just Thornwood Falls and Evolving Wilds, but those are both helpful. Oh, why am I not putting them in... Nah, uh, they'll just be here off the side. This is as good as that. There we go. Now we're into our next pack of three. We have Corset 2020. Uh, ooh, homemade marmalade toast. And homemade... 
It was the toast and the marmalade are both homemade for dessert. Uh, I can't eat mar- well, maybe I could eat marmalade. I don't know. I see I'm allergic to orange pollen. And they say the cooking process should remove it, but it needs to be a high enough heat, and I don't know if marmalade hits that, because I've never had marmalade. Um, and due to my being allergic to oranges, I'm afraid to try. Uh, but, there, oh, that does sound, the homemade toast sounds great. My dessert after this is going to be a McFlurry, so that's not as impressive. Anyway, we're on Magic 2020, we start with a Rip Scale Predator, nice curve topper in draft, a disenchant. And if you use a lot, you get uh, a very good uh, fantasy series by Matt Groening. That's disenchantment. Anticipate. Blue staple. Sanitarium skeleton. My One of my favorite black cards. I'm not going to lie. I love this stupid skeleton. I just love him so much. Mm, 225. I might be able to, but it'd be one of those... I think I should. That should be hot enough that it kills the pollen. Anyway, uh, Brightwood Tracker, which he also lets me get creature draw, so that's helping me on my green side. Yoke Docks, which is fine. Dagger Sail Aeronaut, who I'm currently sorting the donated cards for the after-school program, so once we can start those up again. Um, I so In there, there was like 12 of this guy, so those kids are getting a lot of this guy. Uh, he might end up in my deck if I get a red-green. If I get a... I, I kind of hope not Halivar. I like Halivar, but not uh, not unless I get a lot of Kicker, and I only have one set with Kicker in here. So I don't think that'll work. I mean, I'll, I'll use them if I have to, but... Hmm. I would kind of hope for... I'm hoping for something Teamer. And I don't think my any of my sets give me Teamer other than Ikoria, and that... That train has sailed. Um, so let's see what we get. Anvil Rot Raptor. Silverback Shaman. Oh wait, 2020 had wedge-colored legendaries. We have a chance. We have a chance of wedge-colored legendaries. Ha ah. uh, Silverback Shaman. Gorging Vulture. I saw a lot of this guy when I was sorting uh, black as well. He's a neat one. Uh, Scholar of the Ages. Okay, that's fun. Renowned Weaponsmith. Him I like. Scuttlenut. Oh, and we got our first possible commander, Yarok the Desecrated. Uh, so we got a Sultai commander here. Uh, three five elemental horror for two a black, a green, and a blue. Three five death touch lifelink. If a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers additional time. That's not Panharmonicon. That's like the opposite, right? I think that's the opposite. So. We're going to have a little commander pile up here. So Yarok is one of our possible commanders. we got a swamp and we got a wolf. Okay, we got Yarok. I'm feeling better about this. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm not, I'm not against Yarok. Uh, considering one of my favorite, one of the commander decks I want to build is uh, Muldrotha. I've been thinking about that color combo a lot lately. Um, and yeah, that's what I meant. We have wedge colors here. So I got Yarok. I'm happy with Yarok. Uh, this pack had Soren on it. Yay. Oh, and it's one of those nice little rule cards on the back of the tokens this time. Is that true of the wolf? Nah. They all should have this in the core sets. They should all have this in the core sets. The turn order. I know that's not good for advertising, but it's good for teaching people how to play, and that is something I'm passionate about. Convolute. That's a nice counterspell. Goblin Smuggler. He's smuggling goblins. Uh, Daybreak Chaplain. Ooh, I do like Metropolis Sprite. That's a fun one. Gift to Paradise. All-Star, right there. Uh, Dawning Angel. Chandra's Ember Cat. Centaur Courser, the literal uh, metric by which we judge draft cards. Prismite. Uh, I would rather a better Mana Rock than you. <gasps> Colossal Hammer. I don't know how I'm going to make it work. Or if. But I'd like to. Wolf Rider Saddle, now that's much easier to make work, because it comes with the wolf. What more could you want? We got Ember Hauler. We got Repeated Reverber... Oh! And, and a foil. Repeated Reverberation. When you next cast an instant spell, cast a sorcery spell, or activate a loyalty ability, copy that spell or ability twice. Okay, I like that. Scampering Scorcher. 
He's fun. I, I think Scampering Scorcher should be an elemental lizard, an elemental dog. If it's scampering. It's just me. And we got a Blossoming Sands, which might be useful. Okay. Uh, we can get two wolves. Alright. Third pack of Core 2020. Also Soren. Uh, this was the only one I sacrificed from my Pygow pile. Uh, as far as sets went. Because I went, nah, I'd rather have more core sets in here. Because uh, core sets are kind of like nice... Uh, it's the potatoes of your meat and potatoes. Hey, Fortress Crab. Because sometimes you just need a big crab. Goblin Bird Grabber. Aerial Assault. Natural End, which is not quite a naturalize. But it's just as good. Barony Vampire, also known as the filler card I keep putting into cubes and people keep getting mad at me for. Shock. Healer of the Glade. Now I can gain life twice from Yarok. Ooh, and Marauder's Axe. Eh, it's an equipment. It is what it is. Destructive Digger. I like him. Sleep Paralysis. Good. Blue Removal. Gruesome Scourger. Scourger, because he's using a Scourge. Actually, is that really a Scourge? Yes, that is really a Scourge. As opposed to a Captain's Daughter. Um, that could be fun. He deals uh, direct damage in black. Manifold Key. Which is basically like a weaker Voltaic Key. Uh, Might of the Masses. Uh, which is... If I got two other critters, it's a giant growth. Oh, we got another commander. We got Drek Huseth. Maw of Flames. Uh, so he's pure red. 7-7 seven, seven for 4 and a red, red, red. Flying Dragon. When Everett attacks, deals 4 damage to any target and 3 damage up to 2 other targets. He he has uh, the... That's the Red Dragon's Flame Breath. Because he's getting 2 on the sides. Nice. And we got a little Elemental Token. Which I assume is for the Scampering Scorcher. Because I think that comes with a token. Yeah. Yeah, that's the token for the Scorcher. Great. And I'm actually going to start stacking these up so we can start making longer piles that actually show up on camera. Okay. So, so far, I'm looking at Sultai or somehow Mono Red. Either could be fun. I think it determines on the size of my red pile. And I think if I ended up in Mono Red, it would just be me, me putting all my artifacts on top of all my red cards and going, here, done. Okay, so that was Core 2020. We got two commanders out of it. I'm happy with that. Uh, if I do Dracuseth, I also get Luca. So that is nice. Uh, so that's six packs down, 30 to go. All right, now we're on to our three packs of War of the Spark. So we're definitely getting at least three Planeswalkers out of this. Maybe more. Imagine. Oh, well, at the very least, we have four Planeswalkers, because Luke is in here. Ha ha ha. I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm really hoping I get uh, the Gideon from this set, even though I have not pulled a white commander yet. Uh, but that's purely a greed thing, because uh, I, I was sad when Gideon died. Spoilers for those of you who are two years behind on Magic Story. Um, we're going to take the land out, too. The... Sad Ravnikan Forest. Alright, so we got a Sky Theater Strix. We got a Blind Blast. Loxodon Sergeant. Uh, who He gives everyone vigilance. And as a, a constant white player, that makes me happy. Uh, Cures Dam Breaker. I like the Proliferate. Dusk Mantle Operative. Snare Spinner. That's kind of nice. We got all five colors right, right off the bat. Arlen's Wolf. Nahiri's Stone Blades. Callous Dismissal. Ah, Arboreal Grazer, also known as the Land Lemur. I could go for the Land Lemur. Vizier of the Scorpion. So he's, uh, I mean, he's technically a 1-1 one, one and a... Oh, I, guess, I guess the 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 zombie, the uh, army-making Eternals effectively are the Splicers, and I like them. I don't know why I don't like the Amass cards. Oh, pfft. Callous Dismissal, get in your pile. Stop hanging out with Black. 
uh, Challenger Troll, and Ashiok. Okay, not who I wanted, but I'll take Ashiok. Ashiok's a fine card. Um, an Awakening of V2Gazi, sure. Alright, so not bad for our first pack of war. Yes, I should have enough different red cards since I have multiple sets. I think that's where my advantage is over you guys, where you guys are going to have a lot more duplicates than I will. My issue is lack of commanders and lack of synergies uh, doing chaos here. Because, oh boy, uh, I do not know how I'm going to make a viable deck out of this other than maybe I pull a Colossal Dreadmaw and stomp people in the face? But that's my default setting. Kazmina's Transmutation I really like. Goblin Assault Team I really like. Ironclad Grovot, I can't say that about you. You're a, you're a garbage card. Uh, Spellkeeper Weird? Keep keeping it weird. Force Landing, very fun. Vampire Opportunist literally just did a TikTok about that the other day. Uh, I'm over at uh, I'm Alchemy Prime on TikTok as well, by the way. Band together. Another Prismite. So we have our first duplicate. Herald of the Dread Horde. Herald, we need to call the Dread Horde. Uh, Thundering Ceratok, that's fun. <gasps> Ooh, a Death Sprout. Now, if anything leads me to go with Yarok, it's having a Death Sprout. Gonna play some Seb McKinnon art. Also, the effect's really good, but most importantly, I get to play some Seb McKinnon art. Uh, Dread Malkin. I do like Dread Malkin. We got an Invade the City. Uh, a Mass X, where X is number of instant sorceries. That's fun. Uh, you know what? I didn't get a, a Gideon, but I got a Johnny. I'll take in a Johnny. He's a fun character. I got my here island and this here spirit. And why is my phone exploding? Why am I so popular? Oh, because Brad followed me and liked my video. I see. I will have to read your comment later, Brad. For now, I am focused on drawing the cards. All right. Last pack of war. I was looking for the other Planeswalker thinking, oh, uh, I totally have done three packs of war. No, I haven't. I can't count. This is clearly two packs. I just got two really good multicolors in that last one, so my brain processed it wrong. Uh, oh, Summit Sprint. I do love Summit. Summit's a fun Planeswalker as well. Uh, War Screecher. Soren's Thirst. I just saw like two dozen of these while sorting. Uh, both arts. Both this art and the old art. Uh, all the black decks I make for the kids are... A lot of them are going to have Soren's Thirst. Uh, Burning Prophet. I do really like Burning Prophet. That is a fun card. Relentless Advance. Centaur Nurturer. Fond of that one. Oh, hey, Demolish. Uh, Lazatep Reaver. That one's fun. Defiant Strike. Cyclops Electromancer. I do like the Cyclopses from Ravnica. If nothing else, I like Ravnica's Cyclopses. Bond of Revival. Grateful Apparition. Oh. It, a second Grateful Apparition. That feels like I mildly got cheated. But uh, before that, can't use him as my commander, but I am excited to get a car in the Great Creator. Ooh. My buddy Karn's coming through for me. Okay. So no legendaries this time around. That is uh, disappointing. Well, yeah, I got legendary planeswalkers. I got three of them. Um, but can't, we're not playing Oathbreak. We're playing Commander. Um, I, mm, happy about that Karn, though. Especially since there is a Kaladesh and a Aether Revolt pack in here. And there's Dominaria. I'm going to have plenty of artifacts if I want to use that Karn. So I'm feeling good about that. Oh, and I have those colored artifacts from the uh, Core 2020 uh, packs. The uh, There's the Wolf Saddle. Yeah, that's going to work. Sadly, no Alara, so no focus on colored artifacts. But it would be fun if that were there. But it is not. Alright, so now... Working our way back to Ravnica Allegiance. 
Yes, you are sabotaging my stream by following me on another platform there, Brad. I, I think my options will be fine once I open the Dominaria. Uh, th though that's just not to say that the other ones won't give me anything. Uh, there are some very good options in those other sets. Uh, there is the uh, leadery characters of the uh, Ixalan armies. Such as uh, Kumena, uh, Maverin Fane, Elenda the Dusk Rose, uh, and I have... I'm probably going to have the most synergy out of uh, Guild's block, the fake block, uh, and Ixalan block, because that's where I have the most concentrated cards. Alright, so let's hear. We have Civic Stalwart, Gore Clan Wrecker, Riot Menace ain't bad, Fairy Duelist, Stony Strength, Noxious Grudon, who's just a uh, Death Touch Basilisk in black, if I remember correctly. Root Snare. It's a fog. Applied Biomancy. Gateway Plaza. Deface. That's where I will punch you, in Deface. Uh, Simic Locket. So we're going to put that in multicolor, because it's a multicolor rock. Vindictive Vampire. I'm really liking it. I'm working on a new iteration of my old corset idea. And I really like Vindictive Vampire. Uh, for a Red Black Sacrifice Matters theme, I think. Uh, Flames of the Rays Boar, which that is 4 damage target creature and opponent controls, deals 2 damage to each other creature that player controls, if I control a creature with power 4 or greater. Oh, oh, that is, um, that's a theme that comes up in War as well, if I remember correctly, the Pseudo Ferocious. It's kind of nice. Hey, Fireblade Artist! Hey, Kaya's Wrath. Kaya's Wrath is a fun card. I won't deny that. And a Simic Guildgate. And a Thopter. Yeah, caring about Historic will be rough. But I have enough artifacts, I think I'll be fine. Um, opening the Kicker Commander would suck. I think. If it comes to red-green, I'm really hoping I get something more like Gishoth, who I realize is Naya and not red-green, but eh, close enough. Um, who is legendary in Ravnica Allegiance? Do I have a Scryfall window open? Of course I do. I'm me. Uh, let's take a gander. Uh, red, black, lead, or red, green. Actually, you know what? Let's just do legendary cards. Oh, it works better if I put it in the right search box. I can't see a thing anyone's saying while I'm doing this, by the way. Legendary creature. All right, and we are going to include the following sets. We want uh, Raptica Allegiance, because we're opening that. Guilds, Dominaria, uh, Rivals, I think I know Rivals backwards and forwards at this point due to me running a Dinosaur Commander deck, but here we are, uh, Hour, Amonkhet, uh, Aether, Kaladesh, Uh, Eldritch. The Happy Squid, as McKella calls it. Shadows over Innistrad. Oath. And, uh, Core 2013. Oh, well, I guess. Which one if I type it at? No, you can stay there. Uh, 20... 13, oh, and uh, dragons. Yes. And let's see what all of our legendary creature options are from those sets. Oh, right, I told it only red greens. Uh, well, okay, so red green options. I might pull a Nikia. Uh, Nikia? Nikia would be fine. Uh, Mina and Den would be fine. 
Rada would be great. A Tarka would be pretty darn fun. Samut would be fun. Uh, Amonkhet Samut, specifically. And Ulrich would be fine. He's more uh, werewolfy focused, I feel. Oh, no, he's not. He, oh, he'd be fine. He's just a brawler. Oh, yeah, any of those would work great. Uh, I'm going to remove the color restriction real fast and see what all my options are. So we know what to... And we're going to sort by... Set. Yeah. Now I'm going to go to the end of the list. Ha 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 ha. Yes, this is the logical way to do things. Yeah, so in this set, there's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it looks like. I get Judith, I could get Lavinia, Nikia, Vanifar, Rakdos, Tesa, Zagana, and the Hunt of Hightower. So sure. Those are all fine choices. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got a Knight of Sorrows. In constant sorrow through his days. Slimebind. Uh, Gift of Strength. Footlight Fiend. I do like Footlight Fiend. Scuttle Gator, who is a almost a Fusor from uh, Beast Wars. Another Applied Biomancy. Another Gateway Plaza. A Debtor's Transport. Another Simic Locket. A Grasping Jethro Thrall. Dagger Caster. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like that. Combine Guildmate. I am re wow. This this pull this pack in particular is going like no. Go with Yarok. It'll be your friend. Cavalcade of Calamity. And oh no, you're not green. Get over there. And Cinder Vines. And an Azorius Guildgate. And a beast. Sure. All right. That one's not bad. Last one. So uh, come on, legendary. We want another commander. That's the thing. If I want the commanders just for the build up build options, I, I think at this point I have enough reds I could even do Dracuseth if I really needed to. But as it currently stands, I want to play around with it and see what we can get. Okay, we've got a Quench. Quench is fun. We've got a Rubble Slinger. I am hearing something. What am I hearing? One of these tabs is making noise. Wait, is it? Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm dreaming. I'm imagining things. Oh, I think I'm hearing Red play Skyrim in the other room. That's on me. This is looking rainbow. Alright, let's see here. We have Impassioned Order. Rampaging Rendhorn. I do like that riot. Rakdos Trumpeter. Ooh, Burn Bright. Burn Bright is fun. Another Grasping Thrall. Gitter Eel, another Debtor's Transport, an Orzov Locket, a Rally to Battle, ooh, Sunder Shaman, can't be blocked by more than one creature, deals combat damage to a player, destroy target artifact or enchantment that creature can, uh, that player controls, ooh, you would be helpful, buddy. It might be a ghost. Uh, Wall of Lost Thoughts and Mass Manipulation and an Orzhov Guildgate and another beast alright so that's it for oh wait a minute I'm hearing the bubbles coming out of my Dr. Pepper anyway um hmm alright this that last pack gave me so much blue green that that is really making me think that ending up in uh, with Yarok is not necessarily a bad thing. I'm just like, I have this natural, like, aversion to playing black for some reason. It's my name. I should play it more. Alrighty. So now we're over to Guilds of Ravnica. And looking here... Guilds can give us... Let's see, who can guilds give us? If we're lucky. 
Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Here we go. Uh, we can get Aurelia, Amara, Etrada, Izoni. Izoni, I put in a cube for the library. Lazav, Niv Mizit Perun. He'd be fun. Tajik, and Tristani Discordant. Any of those might be fun. I will give you that uh, black is one of the top five colors. Uh, I mean, come on. I'm, I'm a white player. Part of it is purely that I'm like, I don't know. Like, it's fun. I know it would be fun. But it's in my head that, like, it plays too mean. And then I go and play white-blue control and just make people miserable. So we got Disdainful Stroke. We got Barge and Sarge. Uh, 10th District Guard. Crowl Forgers. Moodmark Painter. Garrison Sarge. Deadly Visit. Is it Locket? Yes, it is. It's right there. Direct Current. Night Veil Sprite. A lot of Surveil. I, I'm not the biggest fan of Surveil because I, I have a hard time doing Graveyard Recursion. Sprouting Renewal. Wand of Vertebrae. Ooh! A Doom Whisperer! Like, I'm gonna be honest, the pay 2 to Surveil 2 is fine. But, uh... A 6-6 six, six Flample for 5? Yeah, I'll just go for that. Oh, and a Goblin Electromancer in Foil to boot. And a Guild Guildgate. That's nice. Eh. And a Soldier. Ooh... Ooh, 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 ooh. I do... I am excited for Doom Whisperer. That just threw me over the edge into Yarrick. Because, let's be honest, a 6-6 six, six Flying Trample for 5 is just a better version of a 6-6 six, six Trample for 6. Also known as the best common archetype ever because it's green. Uh, Alright. Guilds pack number 2. We got Ral Zarek. Come on, Ral. Give me some luck. Give me some luck. Hey, look, it's the D and D book ad. All right, we got a fire urchin, an intrusive pack beast, maximize altitude. I just had a can't understand graveyard recursion, and yet here I am liking uh, jumpstart, vigor spore worm, severed strands. Maniacal Rage. Ooh, I like Maniacal Rage. Hired Poisoner. Verdani Shieldmate. Hypothesizzle. Just, a, that's a fun word. Ooh, not my favorite art for Prey Upon. I would not mind getting a uh, duplicate of this if I could get the Ixalan art. Uh, Justice Strike. Wapow. Murmuring Mystic. City Watch Sphinx. And our rare is Gruesome Menagerie. Choose a creature card with converted mana cost one, then do the same for two and three. Return those cards to the battlefield. Okay, well, that part's neat. Celestia Guildgate. And a soldier. So, wait, that is six mana worth of critters for five mana and an extra card. Let's think of the value. What value? I don't know. I guess it depends on what I put in my graveyard. Because despite my constant reading of my new favorite manga, Destroy All Humanity, It Doesn't Regenerate, I still can't wrap my head around black or black-blue combo. Uh, I think the most like the main girl, who plays mono-white. By the way, if you... Uh, really need a new manga to read, might I suggest, destroy all of humanity, it doesn't regenerate. It doesn't have an official translation yet, that's the sad part. So either learn Japanese, or go to the seedy underbelly of the internet where your mom told you not to go, and read some scanlations. It is a cute slice-of-life middle school sports comic, but the sport 
is Urza's Saga Standard. It is amazing. And it's like all told in flashback. Uh, about a couple of kids who are obsessed with two things. Magic the Gathering and uh, the impending apocalypse of Y2K. Uh, except they're not using Y2K. They're using the uh, Nostradamus prediction of the summer of 1999. Uh, Ledev Guardian. Alright, so we got a 2 4 for the Convoke. Stainful Stroke. Uh, Barging Sarge. Oh my god. Like, dude, you do not know. This is a Magic the Gathering sports manga, and yet I am just invested in the tiny, adorable romance between these two 12 year olds. And also, the little blonde girl is clearly getting her heart broken, and it just turns into resolve to become a pure spike, and I love it. Uh, where are you? Copy. Oh, and they, like, constantly talk about terms that we use now in Magic, saying, but we did not have this term back then. Or they'll mention, like, what the Japanese term is for certain decks. And I think that's really neat, that because I didn't think about the idea that Japan would have different slang in Magic than we would. Uh, we got a Douster of Lights. A Parhelion Patrol. A Boros Locket. A Siege Worm. An Electromancer. Here we go. We got the affectionate Indrik. Shows up in fights. We got a Swarm Guild Mage. A Golgari Fine Broker. Hey! Commander 3! Atrada the Silencer. So now I got a Demir option, which I'm going to be honest, uh, that was the one I was least excited for. I love her in Magic Puzzle Quest. Um, but in normal Magic, like I'm looking at this, I'm more than willing to pay the extra one mana on my commander to put a Trata into my deck. So I don't think I'll be building a Trata. I think I'll be building Yarok with a Trata in it currently. But anyway, that was guilds. Uh, oh yeah. In 1999, in seven months, the Great King of Terror will come from the sky. That is the opening to the series. So I'm going to assume that means you found it. Um, or you just knew what that uh, Nostradamus prediction was off the top of your head. In which case, that's impressive. Um, and like we find out that it's the flashbacks of the girl who plays Mono White. And so we know something bad happens. And we don't know what it is. I know I'm going to be an emotional wreck when it happens. And I'm hoping, this is one of the few times, I'm hoping it's a cop-out. I'm hoping it's a cop-out, and they're like, married. I, I am investing in these two 12-year-olds, you guys. Uh, it's I'm like a middle-aged woman watching her soaps. Okay. Dominaria pack one. We're definitely going to get more commanders out of this. That's one of the reasons uh, I was glad I had some packs of Dominaria lying around. I was hoping I had enough just to do Dominaria. Uh, because that's kind of easy mode for this. Oh, hey, one of my favorite white enchantments, it's Dub. I dub thee Sir Dowser of Lights. And hey, it's Prof. We could put Prof in a deck. He's right there. Uh, though honestly, I don't want to call him Prof. I, I kind of want to call him Lin-Manuel Miranda, because that's who the art looks like. Uh, we got Frenzy Rage. I got another Bark Dargan. Uh, but this time we have the uh, Dominaria symbol instead of the Quartz symbol. Got a Llanowar Scout. Run Amok. Gideon's Reproach. Ooh, I might get another one of those in Oath, because that's a reprint. Uh, Thalid Omniver. Jousting Lance. That's one of the cards that cost me my first uh, tournament. No, that's one of the cards that cost me pre-release. Sapperling Migration. Dauntless Bodyguard. Ooh, way to memory. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, first off, we got a Banalish Marshal. So if we pull a white commander, I got an Anthem on a stick. Oh, yeah. Also, we got Valdic, Keeper of Flames, who is an enchantment and aura caring about uh, commander. So he could theoretically work with that Colossal Hammer we pulled. Uh, though, I think we're in one of those scenarios of, I'm not going to make Valdic. Valdic goes into Dracuseth. And we got an island. 
And we got a knight. Stained glass knight, but a knight nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, so if you want a manga that's uh, adorable and it feels kind of like Hikaru no Go, but with more romance and it's about magic and you like Nostradamus, uh, go read Destroy All Humanity, It Can't Be Regenerated. There was another one that was magic themed, whereas uh, Destroy All Humanity is like legit magic. Like they're using real cards and explaining to you the strategies as you're doing it. It's like the theoretical magic anime that Prof wishes exist, that I wish existed. It teaches you how to play as you're reading it, which is great. It's a real sports manga, but about magic. Um, go read Destroy All Humanity. I love it. Uh, there was another one. They made a magic isekai, but it wasn't magic. It was inspired by magic. Inspired by. They had like, oh, I'm a magic walker in this world, and I have abilities powered by my walking points. And I can use lands to summon creatures, but it's not a five-pointed star. It's a hexagram, because there's the transparent symbol. Shut up. It was neat while it lasted, but it had, like, a bunch of extra baggage on it it didn't need. And uh, then when you're, like, done reading it, you're going, like... Oh, and they rush it, because it got canceled. So they had to put the whole, like, two arcs worth of stuff in one chapter for chapter 12. Instead of the climax of the first arc that we were going to get. It's like that one, uh, me and my elf deck in another world, not as good as Destroy All Humanity. Destroy All Humanity is primo. Hey, it's Banal Sharnagard. <gasps> it's a burb. I love the burb. Uh, we got Kelden Warcaller. I haven't pulled a saga yet, but it's good to know they're there. Knight of New Banalia. Feral Abomination. A Llanowar Envoy. Sure. Rescue. Yami via Sappard, Aether Glider, Rampaging Cyclops, Memorial to Folly, Zelfarin Void, so two lands. Settle the score. Hey, we finally got a white commander. We got our yell. Knight of Windgrace. Not bad. We got a 4 4 4 4 with Vigilance. Legendary Human Knight. She rides a Panther into battle. That's really neat. I think the Panthers are intelligent. If I remember my Dominaria lore. Two and white, tap, make a knight. Black, tap, destroy X... Uh, sorry, tap X knights, destroy a creature. Uh, with power X or less. Okay, we got Ariel. So, white is on the table, finally. And we got a sapperling. Uh, Alright. Last pack of Dominaria. Let's see if Karn is lucky for us. He wasn't last time. Uh, okay, so... If I were to organize my commanders currently that I have pulled, if I go up here, uh, what I'm looking at is Dracus uh, Valduk goes in Dracuseth, Etrada goes into Yarik, Ariel is by herself. So I could do Mono Red, I could do Saltai, or I could do Orzov. But I'm only about halfway through. We are. Uh, this is. Pack 18, I think. Three. Eh. And eh, we're about halfway through. We're in. We're at the end of stack one. So we're going to say that's halfway. Let's see what Karn's got for us. An ad for Puzzle Quest. Oh, right. Uh, another Knight of Nubnalia. A, ooh, a Befuddle. A Skirk Prospector. A Sergeant at Arms. A Crosan Druid. A rat colony? You're the only one I'd be fine with duplicates of, man. Why aren't, where's your buddies? Fungal infection. Tragic poet. Another sap herd. Ooh, Bardic wanderer. What's better than a 6-6 six, six for 6? Nothing, but what's pretty close? A 5-5 five, five for 6? That's generic. Fungal plots. Final parting. Ooh, I spoke too soon on that. Uh, saga. There's our Rite of Bells and Lock, and hey, the gal who was my promo at Dominaria pre-release, Tiana, ship's caretaker. So now I got Boros, which admittedly is my favorite pair. Admittedly, that is my favorite pair. Uh, Swamp, Knight, again, we're running into the uh, difference here of me running Chaos versus the other guys in the league doing full box. 
I have a variety of commanders. Uh, which, actually, I am doing much better than I thought I was going to be. I was expecting to only have the three from Dominaria, in all honesty. The fact that I have six uh, viable options right now makes me very happy. Uh, but I have, like, no synergies. <laughs> There's a few. There's a few synergies I could see. Um, I could use Ariel and put a dub on something. Yay. Uh, you know what? Hmm. Valduk might not go into Dracoseth. He might go into Tiana. I might put both of these guys in Tiana. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we're in Rivals. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you for the spoilers on that. I've been trying to push people to buy battle decks. And not just because I know you work on them, Adam. Uh, I honestly love the battle decks. I love the uh, rookie decks as well. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Card Kingdom have a line... Uh, oh, they had a line of Brawl decks. For some reason, I was thinking they had a line of Commander decks. Uh, I know Cool Stuff Inc. does, because I was looking on their site for a card sorter, and I thought, eh, let's see if I can get anything with shipping. Um, I saw their not rookie decks and those ones kind of make me i realize it's not the most original idea but on the other hand it's like come on uh i have two sets of card kingdom rookie decks uh though one of my i'm gonna say that i misplaced a white one i the the dark part of my mind says oh a student stole it and it's like you know what it was five bucks if a kid really wanted to play magic that badly that he took one of my rookie decks instead of asking me for one of the beginner decks i just make and give out uh, that's fine. Uh, but because that one of my white rookie decks is not real, it's me trying my best with donated cards to make something similar to the Card Kingdom ones. But anyway, we're in Rivals now. We have Sun Sentinel. Miss Cloaked Herald. Fucking champ. The only thing better than this is over an Amonkhet, and that's that Naga, and I would not mind having both. Goblin Trailblazer. Not my favorite goblin pirate in this set. Uh, Canal Monitor. Roska Frillback. Dusk Charger. Gleaming Barrier. Cleansing Ray. Secrets of the Golden City. Pitiless Plunderer. Ooh, Dire Fleet Neckbreaker. Ooh, Aquatic Incursion. Ooh, Foil Blood Sun. <laughs> if I go mono red, y'all are screwed. Um, checklist card. Storm the Vault. I do love Storm the Vault. Because the backside is a Talarian Academy. And a City's Blessing. You just reworked the Rookie Dex. Oh man, that's amazing. Uh, Dracus sets better in the 99. I think you're right. Nobody would use the Brawl decks, that's fair. Uh, standardizing the way to keep the same list forever. And they all have Scry in them. Oh! Ooh, I like that. Because I have to, I normally have to explain Scry to kids once they get their welcome decks. Uh, because I. Wizards only gives you so many welcome decks, and if, like. I ran this at, a, at, like, a school, and there was only, like, ten kids into it, then, sure, that would be fine. And I appreciate that they send those, but, uh, I have taught over 120 people to play Magic, partially because I keep making those decks. Uh, alright, let's see what we got. We got an Orozka Raptor. We got a Raptor Companion. We got a Negate. A Hardy Veteran. Vampire Revenant. Knight o' the Stampede. Traveler's Amulet. Martyr of Dusk. Can be fun. Dark Inquiry. I have not pulled a, a knight yet for this set, have I? I have pulled soldiers. Rats. Oh, there's one. Forerunner of the Legion. But he only finds vampires. Flood of Recollection. Golden Demise. Bishop of Binding. There's a battlefield exile target creature and opponent controls until he uses battlefield. Oh, he's an O-ring! 
Oh, he's an O-ring that boosts vampires. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and a foil island. And a non-foil swamp. Sure. Oh, wait, no, those go in that pile. And a golem token, which I don't think I can use here, but uh, I do have that golem garrison in my uh, cube currently. So he's useful over there. Okay. Last p rivals pack. Few months left until the new rookie decks release to the public. You know what? Uh, depending on how things go, I may buy a new set of rookie decks for that. That sounds great. Um, because that's the thing. I love the rookie decks. They're just good, plain, classic magic to me. They're fundamentals. I like fundamentals. Uh, oddly, that's not what I like in stocks, but that's what I like in magic. You know, the two games that that smart people play to feel more important than other people. Stocks and magic. Uh, Sailor of Means. Frill Death Spitter. Divine Verdict. I do like Divine Verdict. I prefer the uh, Theros art, but I do like it. Hardy Veteran again. Strider Harness. I'm going to put a horse uh, harness on a pirate. Um, Dead Eye Rig Hauler. Gruesome Fate. Ooh, Mutiny. Another Gleaming Barrier. Another Forerunner of the Legion. I had a feeling that this pack would do something like that. Uh, Legion Lieutenant, who is a knight, so we can go in Ariel. Crested Herd Caller. Dire Fleet Daredevil. Uh, this is Snatchcaster Mage, right? This is the guy who's, yeah. He's effectively a uh, Snapcaster, but he's from your opponent's graveyard. And a Foil Jungle Creeper, who would be awfully useful over in Yarrick. Yeah, like, uh, you, I, I realize that this is just sounding like I'm bettering you up, man, but uh, I, I honestly love the rookie decks, um, and I love the battle decks. I don't own a battle deck yet, um, but from when I got to play with them, they're fun, and the rookie decks, I own two sets of them, they're that good, partially because I kept having kids wanting to play the same color. Uh, my first year of teaching. So I bought a second set. And I keep them in a toolbox. Uh, and my one of my red ones has wandered off. I don't know what happened to it. I know it, I know with the white one I had to rebuild it. The red one is somewhere in the house. And if I remember correctly, it's like I put it in a box when we were reorganizing the office. And I think that box is under a bunch of cards. So anyway, we're in Ixalan now. We're in plain old Ixalan now. This is going to be where I'm going to get the most synergies. I'm going to be honest, Vampire Knights with Ariel sounds like that might be our situation here. Why am I buzzing? Who's buzzing me? Oh. It's that. Uh, Revenge Plot is your favorite one. I like peeps that like rookie and battle decks. Uh, had Mad Science or whichever it's called. Instead of Mutation, the red version of that spell. Consuming Mutation. Yeah, we're in Ixalan now. Legion Conquistador. Mark of the Vampire. And his good friend, Jim of the Vampire. Shorekeeper. Vanquish the Weak. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I'm back. Jungle Delver. Doodaloo, doodaloo. Ooh, the stompiest of boys. Ancient Brontodon. Uh, Tishana's Wayfinder. Which way? That way. Thanks. Prying Blade, Trove O Temptations, Verdant Rebirth, Lurking Chupa Thingy, Ooh, Maverin Fane! So we got a Mono White now. Uh, admittedly, a Mono White who feels like he belongs in Ariel. Uh, Adanto Vanguard, Swamp, and Treasure. Okay, so Maverin Fane. Uh, my first draft I actually went to. I ended up drafting vampires, and I ended up in a mirror match, and it was excruciating, but the only two good things I had about that deck, one was Maverin Fane, the other one was uh, the Schooner, I think it's the Schooner, um, and I had no creatures that could pilot it, 
uh, because he had put the guy I was playing in was playing uh, mostly vampires, but didn't have enough to do it properly. So he had like one he had a blue removal because he had forced vampires, but couldn't get the removal because I had taken it. And uh, he ended up like having I can't remember exactly how he did it, but there was something that made it so that my uh, I, I had a dino, I had a aerosaur that couldn't attack, but I could still tap it, and so I just had it crewing the schooner. Uh, and as for Maverin here, I had uh, him, and I had another vampire who could attack, and one vampire token, and he kept blocking the token and killing it, and then I would spawn a new token. And so it was just, and here's his cousin, and here's his brother, and here's his best friend. Okay, Maverin Fane, another commander. So I could do mono white, the strongest color in commander, from, you know, a moral standpoint. Uh... Ah, Fire Shrine Keeper, I never knew what to do with you the first time I saw you. Uh, Pterodon Knight. Sure. Blight Keeper. Okay, I have Short Keeper, I have Blight Keeper, I have Fire Shrine Keeper. Am I going to get the other two Keepers? That'd be neat. I wouldn't mind having the whole Keeper cycle. Shipwreck Looter. Commune with Dinosaurs. Hierophant's Chalice. Costly Plunder. Fire Cannon Blast. I will tell you, I am a little disappointed I didn't pull uh, the War Nib Mizzet now. Because I would not mind doing just the weirdest five color nonsense. Uh, Dire Feet Interloper. Encampment Keeper. One more. <gasps> Deep Root Waters. Ooh. Do I have enough Merfolk to make that work? I don't think so. I think I have pulled two total Merfolk. Ruthless Knave. <gasps> Raptor Hatchwing. I love him. That is my favorite raptor of all time, right there. I love him. My favorite thing to do is somehow... Okay, because that's the thing, is this is your budget polyraptor. If you can make him invulnerable, uh, and you get, like, some sort of... Uh, if you can make him invulnerable and you can just keep pinging him, you just get an army of dinosaurs. And he's adorable. Look at him. All right, and then we have Captivating Crew, which is uh, Act of Treason on a stick. And I love Act of Treason. Not in real life, just the magic card. Real Acts of Treason make me mad. Last pack of Ixalan. Uh, and then we'll look to see how many Merfolk I have. See, is that Deep Root Waters worth it? Probably not, is the answer. Am I going to try? You know it. Vampire Seal. Desperate Castaways. Another Fire Shrine Keeper. A Ravenous Dagger Tooth. Depths O Desire. Hey, Windstrider, we got another Merfolk. We're at three. That's enough. No, it's not. Another Hierophant's Chalice. Another Costly Plunder. Ooh, Fire Cannon Blast. Dire Fleet Interloper. A Rallying Roar. A Bright Reprisal. <gasps> River Sneak! Okay, we, we're getting somewhere on this Merfolk idea. If we put it into Yarok. Uh, repeating Barrage, which is actually very fun. Repeating Barrage goes immediately into Tiana. Uh, okay, so we have River Sneak, we have Windstrider. We have Jungle Delver, Verdant Reaper. No, uh, Tishana's Wayfinder. We have the Mist Binder. We have Aquatic Incursion. Miss Cloak Herald. Did I get any other merfolk in here? I'm gonna look. I don't think so. I got one. I got one in another thing that cares about it. Alright, that's back to Ikoria. Ikoria doesn't have merfolk. Let's check green. Real fast. Uh, zero. Zero green merfolk. I have gone past where they would be. Um, did I get a blue? Oh, I didn't get any blue greens. What the hey? I hmm, that's weird. Not getting any multicolors. I, I guess I'm just so spoiled by Ravnica. 
and Ikoria. And there might be enough for a Merfolk sub-theme in Yarok. We'll see. I doubt it, but we'll see. Definitely not in the next four packs, because the next four packs all take place in the desert. In a Red's favorite plane. Not the color, but the person in that room playing Skyrim. So let's open up some Hour of Devastation. I only have one of these. This is our... Or we're into the one and dones. Uh, there's three packs of Amonkhet, and then everything else is a one, one shot. So here I'm gonna just say everything. Uh, all right, we have some dutiful servants. It's two five for four. We have frontline devastator. He is a three three for four with a flick two, and I can. He has lesser fire breathing. That's just fun. Unquenchable thirst. That's what happens when you don't have a Gatorade. Uh, if you control a desert or there's a desert card in your graveyard, tap a creature. It's a tap down. It's a cheaper tap down if I own a desert. Kenra Eternal, another Afflict card. I actually like to Afflict. I think I'm in the minority there. Harrier Naga. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3. It's your uh, Centaur dude. Uh, strategic Planning. It's a horrible card from Portal, but it made it into here. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs. Hey, a desert. Desert of the Glorified. Scrounger of Souls. He's just going to scrounge about for some of them tasty, tasty souls. Defiant Kenra. It's a bear, except it's a jackal. Uh, unconventional Tactics. Uh, it's a white zombies matter card, because that was a theme in Amonkhet, was black, white zombies. Because of them mummies. They are the mummies from 1835 BC. Yep, every time. Every time it's right there in my head. Uh, Ominous Sphinx. He sure is. He sure is an ominous sphinx. Whenever I cycle or discard a card, uh, and a, a, car, a creature an opponent controls gets minus two, and I say, oh, you know what I didn't think of? There's cycling synergies. Because so I have four packs from Amonkhet block, and I have three from Ikoria. I, have a, I might have some cycling synergy in here. Except I think the cycling synergies are in different colors. Dang it. Uh, okay, we have an unraveling mummy. Hazarets, Undying Fury, shuffle your library, exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of non gland cards with converted mana costs five or less from among them without paying their mana costs. Whew. Lands you control, don't untap during your next untap step. You know what? That might be worth it. Uh, Ixalan, or sorry, Island and Kitty Cat token. Now we're into Almond Cat. Duty? Oh, Dutiful Servants, yes. I have a white zombie. I have two white zombies. I have Unraveling Mummy. Uh, they can kind of go in Ariel, but not really? Uh, Dutiful Servants can at least go in Mavrin. Uh, we have Jeru's Resolve. Untap a creature, prevent all damage. That would be done to it, so effectively a reverse regenerate. Uh, cycling 2, sure. Hecma Sentinels, whenever I cycle or discard, it gets plus one, plus one. That's helpful with some of the cycling cards from Ikoria. Shed Weakness, plus two, plus two to of turn. I can remove a minus one, minus one counter. Doomed to Center, he's doomed, and then I get a zombie. Uh, he's a doomed traveler, but in black. And with a two, two instead of a one, one flying. Uh, decision Paralysis. Tap two creatures, they don't untap, so it's a minor freeze. Honed Kopesh. It's a short sword. Cartouche of Ambition. That's fun. I get to put a minus one, minus one counter somewhere. And I get plus one, plus one in lifelink. I like that. Oashra Cultivator. Uh, lets me search for a land. Not bad. Shimmer Scale Drake. Uh, who I think should have been an Ikoria if he wasn't. Uh, three, four for five with flying and cycle two. Sure. Hey, a reprint of uh, another Blazing Volley. Which I have also from Ikoria. By Force. Destroy X artifacts. Cast out. Cycling white. Uh, and other than that, it's just a good exile this card. Uh, Vizier of the Tumbling Sands. Tap to untap another permanent. Oh, so he's a Voltaic key. Cycling one and a blue. Sure. When you cycle him, I get to untap a permanent. What? Okay, that's nice. That's a nice little 1 3. And then Pyramid of the Pantheon. Two and tap, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, put a brick counter on it. Tap, add three mana of any color to your mana pool. Activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters. So this is, once I hit seven mana in it, it's a uh, Gilded Lotus. All right. 
sure. I could use a mana rock. And then a swamp. And then even initiate token. And just like saying duty. Yeah, we're now in so the gods aren't quite as big and scary. Um, I mean, they're bigger and scarier than the ones in Kaldheim. I'll grant you that. Uh, now that I've mentioned this to Frere, Frere is waiting to see if a check they're about to get pulls in. And if it does, uh, I think they're going to go buy a box of Kaldheim. Here we got another Jairus Resolve. And they might try to join in. Naga Oracle. And there's a battlefield, look at top three cards of your library, put any number of them onto your, into your graveyard, the rest on top of your library. Okay, so it's a big surveil. It's a surveil three. Cartouche of Zeal, my favorite cartouche. If that's okay with you guys, of course, because this is your whole deal. Um, not the cartouche of Zeal, that 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 stays. There's no arguing that one. Uh, the whole Frere joining in on the league here. Uh, Benefaction of Ronis. Reveal the top five cards, put a creature of enchantment amongst them, put the rest in your graveyard. Sure. Soul Stinger. It's a scorpion demon. I do like scorpions, and I am mildly fond of demons. Bitterblade Warrior. I can exert it uh, to give it plus one, plus O, oh, and death touch, so make a three, two with death touch. It's a bear with upside. I ain't gonna say no to a bear with upside. Neff Crop and Tangler. A two, one with trample that I can exert to make it a three, three with trample. I do like three threes with trample. Cartouche of Ambition. Shimmer Scale Drake again. Cradle of the Accursed. The uh, land you can sacrifice to make a zombie. That can be fun. By Force, again. <gasps> Devoted Crop Mate. White Graveyard Recursion. Very, very nice. Shadow Storm Vizier. Blue Black. Whenever I cycle or discard a card, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So I might be able to put some cycling in Yarok with a Trata? Alright. Prowling Serp apart. Can't be countered. Creature spells I control can't be counted. Ooh, I have never seen this card, like, in person before. I've seen his art in the little Amonkhet D&D tie-in. I've never actually played with him. He's a 4-3 for 3. That, God, dang, that is a nice card. And a full art mountain, which is also a nice card, but for different reasons. And an unwavering initiate. All right, last sandy card from the desert. Ah, yes, the Blood Pact. Very important. Hey, a fling. I was worried about not getting a fling because I didn't have any Eldraine, but there's a fling. Anointer Priest. I love Anointer Priest. Uh, but it's purely out of nostalgia, because that's right when I got back into Magic, Amonkhet had just released, like, the week before. And I'm like, oh, man, wh what's in this? And then I opened one, and it's like, ah, oh, this is great. Uh, Hieroglyphic Illumination. Cartouche Ozeal. Spidery Grasp. Spidery Grasp. Eats a bird, then eats an asp. No, that's, that doesn't work. Blighted Bat. Looks a river shrine. Ooh, the horror of the Broken Lands. The, he's not the horror. Yes? Oh, okay. Uh, he's not the horror. The horror is the pain he feels inside because they canceled his bowling league again. Uh, another Evolving Wilds. I think I'm going to use the Ikoria art. Uh, Hooded Brawler. Just a punchy snake. I do like the idea of a 5-4 punchy snake, though. Uh, Zenith Seeker. He also cares about cycling and discarding. Giving creatures flying. Sixth Sense. Uh, which gives a card uh, the punch something and draw a card ability. A Decimeter Beetle. That, that one's actually... I, I One of the kids at the library group like fell in love with this card when he played with my Liliana Planeswalker deck. As Foretold. Ooh, okay, so I already have one of these in my collection. But I love As Foretold. So, mm, this is really pushing me into that blue deck. As Foretold. Mmm, uh, that one's fun. Okay, so no gods. No gods this time around. So, so far, our only mono-color commanders are Valdek, Dracuseth, and Maverin. And let's be honest, uh, Dracuseth works better in the 99. Yes? Um, 
Okay. All right, so that is Amonkhet. Now we have our two packs from Kaladesh Block. Ugh, we have Aether Revolt, because we're going backwards. Hey, I should play Mas Magic Puzzle Quest. And then I get a legendary monkey. Can the monkey be my commander? No, because he's a token. That'd be funny, though. Alright, so we got an Aether Swooper. He swoops with the Aether. We got Decommission, which is just a uh, disenchantment, but with Revolt. Aether Chaser. So we got some energy here. Silk Weaver Elite, which has Reach and Revolt. Uh, which its revolt is draw a card. This revolt is healing self. Uh, Defiant Salvager. Sack a card to give him a plus one plus one counter. Eh, he's not very efficient though. I realize black would never have this on a 3-3. Three, three, but I would want it there. Uh, prey Upon. The robot eating a goat Prey Upon. Which is also nice. Since I didn't get the dinosaur eating a monkey. Destructive Tampering. I do like modal cards. Filigree Crawler. He dies, I get a Thopter that hatches out of him. Augmenting Automaton, which I say counts as black, because he needs that to do his fake swamp breathing. Implement of Combustion, because it does nothing without red mana. Uh, Ravenous Intruder. Nice little gremlin boy. Shielded Aether Thief. Flash, when he blocks, it, he gets a energy, and I can pay energy to draw a card. That's not a bad card draw engine. Uh, Barricade Breaker, it's a Juggernaut with Improvise, a 7-5 for 7. Attacks each combat if able. So that's just Juggernaut. And, hey! Mono Black Commander! We got Yeheni! Undying Partisan. Uh, legendary Aetherborn Vampire. Haste, 2-2. Two, two. When a creature an opponent controls dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Yeheni. Undying Partisan. Sacrifice another creature. Yeheni gains indestructible until end of turn. So hey, another commander. We got options. Oh man, I wonder if I sold my options. Anyway. Uh, Kaladesh. Original Kaladesh. The set that started me down my dark path into owning more cardboard than sense. Because I went, ooh! Steampunk and Southeast Asian continent themed. Don't mind if I do. Reckless Fireweaver. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under my control, it deals one damage to each opponent. I have a lot of treasure generators in red. That could be fun. And in fact, with Kiana, she cares about equipments as well. That could be a lot of fun. Inspired Charge. That seems inspiring. Aether Trade Winds. I mean, yeah, sure, it's. It's, uh, run away together, right? Yeah. Terror of the Fairgrounds. Wily Bandar. Prakata Club Security. Cal Prowler, who is not as good as Colossal Dreadmaw, but I'll take it. Night Market Lookout. The kids get a lot of these ones. Uh, Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Salivating Gremlins. Uh, my friend Terry cannot look at gremlins uh, because they scare them. Uh, but these gremlins are fine because they're just weird anteater monkey sphinx cat things. Uh, Embral Bruiser, who's okay, I guess. He's he's a honestly he's a blade with downside. Uh, Console Shield Guard, so white energy. Sure. Durable Handicraft. Ooh, what is this? Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. Five and a green sacrifice to put a plus one plus one counter on each creature. Maybe. And then we have Metallurgic Summonings. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, create an XX colors construct artifact creature token where X is the spell's converted mana cost. Oh boy. And then three bl blue, blue, exile it, return all instant sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. Only activate this if I control six or more artifacts. 
Oh, that one sounds like a fun build around right there. Combine that with as foretold. Wait, if I combine that with as foretold, does that make it a zero zero? Or does that just give me a free whatever the spell cost? Oh man, okay, well let's see here. Does the converted mana cost of a spell change if I'm using an alternative cost? No, because if I kick a spell, it doesn't change it. So why would paying zero change the converted mana cost? Because like, uh, what's the one? Um, convolute? No, not convolute. Uh, there's a counter spell that like only cares if the converted mana cost is three or more, or four or more. Uh, disdainful stroke? I think it's in here. Eh, where are you? Eh, eh. Disdainful stroke, four or greater. If I cast a spell with as foretold, it would still count as converted mana cost four. I'm just not paying it. I'm getting it for free. So metallurgic summonings would still make a four four. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a meaner version of the Deep Root Waters right there. Oh, hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it goes by converted cost. Okay. Yeah, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So now, now we're in Innistrad, boys and girls, boils and ghouls. <laughs> I can't do cre Creeper's voice. My my throat's too dry. And I've never been able to. Um, but now we have Eldritch Moon, so now we get to see what a racist New Englander would have done to Universal Horror movies. I mean, what Lovecraft would have done to classic horror. It's the same thing. Got Distemper the Blood. Ooh, it's a Guardian Priest. I can tap a target non-human creature, sure. Primal Druid... So that's a guy I want to die. Skurzdag Supplicant. Eh, they're fine. <gasps> Ooh, it of the Horrid Swarm. Why? I could kill this Primal Druid with it. Indeed I could. And why if I did that, I would only have to pay four in a green. No. Yeah, four in a green to play it of the Horrid Swarm. So five for a four four. That gives me two insects instead of eight. And then I would get a basic land tapped. Quite the synergy. Yes. Ooh, Fogwalker. I do like Skulk. I'm fond of Skulk. Stenzia Innkeeper. Ironclad Slayer. Contingency Plan. Which is just Jace. Thinking about himself. The Narcissist? No. Uh, Lunar Force. Also known as the, hey, I'm gonna counter this. Just so you know. That's what a white counter should look like, by the way. It should look like Lunar Force. Ooh, Vexing Scuttler. Why, I could do the same thing. I could do do with it of the Horde Sword with this one. Yes, fantastic. Ooh, but what would I kill? I guess I'd kill whatever got gypped real hard. Or, no, gimped. That's the word I meant. Kill Yarrick and then bring Yarrick back. <gasps> oh, man, if I have Yarrick out and I play it... I get four bugs. That's twice as many bugs. That's that's so much more bug value. Uh, Faith Unbroken. There's Battlefield and Exile Target Creature and Opponent Controls. Oh, okay. So this is um, plus two, plus two on top of a castaway. All right. I'll go with that. Ooh, Assembled Alphas. Whenever assembled alpha blocks or becomes blocked, it deals three damage to that creature and three damage to their controller. Oh boy. Mmm. You see, you're making a better argument for Tiana there. Shrill Howler. Uh, creatures with power less than Shrill Howler can't block it. So it has Skulk. That's. Oh no, it's backwards Skulk. It's scary. I guess, but that's not scary. There's a word for this, and I can't think of what it is. And then for six, I can transform it into a horrible... F El it says Eldrazi Werewolf. But, like, I'm looking at that. All of its tongues have a little wolf head. That is an Eldrazi Werewolf Hydra, if I've ever seen one. 
Whenever it deals combat damage, put a 3-2 colorless Eldrazi onto the back. Oh. Oh. Green is terrifying. I love it, but green is terrifying. Oh boy. Alright, we're into shadows. I'm tempted to make both Tiana and Yarick. I'm not gonna lie. I'm also tempted to go put Yeheni and Maverin in Ariel. It's like knights featuring vampires. Or is it knights opening for vampires? Okay, we got Puncturing Light. Sleep Paralysis. That's always fun. Inquisitor's Ox. Moreland Drifter. Oh, finally, something on the other end of the color pie. Uh, equestrian Skill, which gives a human trample. Neato! Stromkirk Mentor. Who, I don't know why, but like, half of the Stromkirk vampires, I just imagine, sound like Matt Berry. I think a lot of noble people sound like Matt Berry. He has a very noble, aloof, I have no idea what I'm doing, and stumbled into this by accident voice. Great actor. I can't separate him from his character in the IT crowd. Tormenting voice, which I'm surprised I didn't see in any of the other sets I've opened that have tormenting voice. Root out, which is... A worse naturalize? Oh, it investigates, though. Never mind. I missed that line. I thought you were flavor text. Rotten Heart Ghoul. <gasps> Literally a ghost that knocks over candles. My, my favorite one of uh, Spice Hate Rack's patrons, right there. Near Heath Chaplin. Who makes those when he dies? Uh, ooh. Halpack Resurgence. Which helps my wolves and werewolves get plus one, plus one in Trample. All, all three of them. All three of my wolves. Yes. That's the second one. And I got an Arlen's wolf in this pile somewhere. All three wolves. And we have Engulf the Shore. Return to their owner's hands all creatures with toughness less than or equal to the number of islands you control. That, um, I know that's supposed to be an Eldrazi, but that looks much more like Merit Lage. And then we, ooh, we have the second part. We have Aberrant Researcher, the Buggy Man. And then he becomes even buggier. Fantastic. And a clue. A clue, a clue. All right. Mm. Getting some wolf feelings. Getting some merfolk feelings. Yarok and his disassembled tribes. Now I have the song Banana Man stuck in my head. Do you see Banana Man walking there upon the white hot sand? Alright, now we're in Oath of the Gate Watch. Chandra. My other favorite Planeswalker, you buy disaster. Please give me some good cards. Okay, let's see here. Spark Mage's Gambit. Yeah, all right. Mackenzie Aeronaut. It's a reasonable flyer. Umara Entangler, who fits into my whole idea of just cast all the things. Lead by example. I try. Untamed Hunger. I mean, I didn't get to the weight I am by not eating. Vines of the Recluse. Vampire Envoy. Scion Summoner. As opposed to a Scion Su Well, that just means he can call an Uber, right? Yeah, that's all that means. Boulder Salvo. Holdout Settlement. Timber Gorge. I am getting so many dual lands. <laughs> Gift of Tusks. Also known as Every Christmas at My In-Laws. My mother-in-law fucking loves elephants. The first time I went to go to Michaela's house when we were dating, I felt like I was in a Stephen Lynch movie. It is surreal how many elephants are in that house. And then you blink and find three more. And then I came for Christmas, and there's an elephant tree. There are two Christmas trees, and one is nothing but elephant ornaments. And I love my mother-in-law, but that gift of tusks, that generous gift, honestly, is the right one. The, the white elephant 
card. The white card that you give a gift and it's an elephant. Yep. It's the white elephant gift. And the fact that it's not called white elephant gift fills me with this much rage. Okay, so I have Mind Melter, who is blue-black, thematically fits into Yarrick, but needs colorless mana. Oh, but what's this, my friends? Now, sadly, the Pyramid of the Pantheon won't help me. Colorless is not a color, and therefore it cannot use it. But I have a Hierophant's Chalice. So I can use a weird vampire's cup to feed the horrible Eldritch Abomination the mana it needs. Yes, there's no flaws in this plan. Clearly, out of 99 cards, I will easily draw the only two I need. I forgot I had a scuttle mutt. Um, I have some weird colorless creatures. I intend on using them. Uh, what colorless lands do I have? Hold up. Okay, I have a holdout settlement. That gives me colorless. Cradle of the Accursed gives me colorless. Selfirin Void is who I knew gave me colorless. And after that, I think it is all multicolors. Oh, and Evolving Wilds. The cool Evolving Wilds. Yeah. All right. So Mind Melter could be fun, as well as this here Thought Not Seer, also known as My Friends Will Hate Me. You're going in definitely, buddy. A forest? That's bullshit. Forest is bullshit card. This one better give me a wastes. I am only periodically checking the chat, I'm afraid. Oh my goodness, I got raided. Thank you, Floofies. Uh, I cannot see the chat when I am looking at the table, I'm afraid, because of angles. Uh, very sorry about that. I guess I could... Oh, I didn't even consider that! I, I'd have to use the really long USB cable, but I could have connected the chat to that I can't now, because now I'm locked in without you guys hearing me knock over the microphone and saying every word George Carlin says you can't say on TV. But, I could, next time I do something like this, I think I need to use the uh, TV that we use for uh, game streaming and put the chat on that. I think that's the way to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you live and learn. All right, so let's see what we got. We got a dazzling reflection. I have a mirror right here. I, I do. Ah. Slip through space. Sure. Consuming Sinkhole. That's a mean thing to call me. Corpse Churn. Canopy Gorger, also known as Worse Crowl Prowl Prowler. Sky Scourger. Alright, now I'm just really tempted to do Yarok and shove a bunch of Eldrazi in there. Expedition Raptor. Zeta's Commando. Hey, a Crumbling Vestige, also known as Another Colorless Land. Containment Membrane. Essence Depleter. Reflector Mage. Iona's Blessing. Ah, no legendaries this time and no waste this time. Island. I mean, I effectively got a waste with Crumbling Vestige, but whatever. Uh, I did get Drawn as Chosen. Uh, if I wanted to do Allies. If I, do I have another ally in here? I have one. I have Umara Entangler. So she's not going to be very useful. I might use her in, like, a deck in... Oh, I have Vampire Envoy. Okay. Hmm. Do I do... Yarok Five Separate Tribes Tribal? Yarok, Allies, Eldrazi, Merfolk, Vampire... Uh, there was a third one. Werewolf Tribal. Hmm. Very tempting. Very tempting to make this horrible conglomeration. Why did I put Reflector Mage in white? I just want him to be pure white so badly. He is not. He is white blue. Of course, I'm the guy who's making a custom core set that gave white, like, three counter spells. So what do I know? And, like, all the color shifts that everyone's been asking for. This card should have been white! I mean, you're not wrong. Thought not seers going in something. Alright, I got two more. 
I am going to ask Michaela to open this pack for me, though. If she's okay with it. Yeah. Because it's Dragons of Tarkir. <gasps> it's Dragons. And that is her favorite. Only because I'm on the hunt for an Ugin. So, well, you, oh, that's right. Because the Ugin I ordered you for our anniversary never came in. Nope. The other one did. You got the War Ugin. The Japanese War Ugin. But the I ordered her uh, Ugin the Spirit Dragon, and it never came in. So I'm going to let Mikella look at those first. Uh, and as she looks at them, she can hand them to me. All right, great. <laughs> so we start with a cat, coat and venom. Sure. Get death touch for one. That's better than blade brand. Colagon aspirant. Whenever it blocks a creature, or block, whenever it's blocked by a creature, it deals one damage to that creature. That's not bad. Glade watcher. Oh, it's whenever it becomes blocked, meaning before damage. Oh, nice. Uh, this one, it's a three-three with defender, but with formidable. It, I can pay green and make it attack with defender. Okay, we have a Gurmag Drowner, a Naga Wizard with Exploit, sure. Dragon Eye Sentry, a one three with defender and first strike. Guardian Shield Bearer, a two one with Mega Morph. I think this is my only Morph creature. Uh, when it's no. turn, oh, there's another one in there. There's another one. Okay, uh, whenever it's turn face up, it gets a plus one plus one counter. Uh, and I give another thing plus one plus one counter, so not the worst. I don't know if a three two for four that boosts something else is worth it. Sarkon's Rage, uh, five damage target creature player. If I control no dragons, he deals two damage to me. I have drawn a dragon. Uh, Dra Dracoseth's a dragon, so there we go. Hey, a vial of dragon fire. That is awfully useful with that weather dude I pulled that makes that. Butcher's Glee, which is weird, and I don't understand it, and I refuse to. Um, There's no Ugin. Echoes of the Kin Tree. Hey, honey, where, where'd the rare go? You pulled an Ugin. No. No, I didn't. That'd be funny, though. Uh, Warbringer, he has Dash. I would have held on to it, though. You would have. You would have taken it. I know you. The Stormrider Rig. Uh, okay, so this guy can pop onto anything. Ooh, Iyer Shaman. We got a girl orc. With Megamorph for a red. Ooh, hello. Uh, oh my goodness. So she has Menace, effectively. She's a 2-1. But if I morph her, she's a 3-2 for a single red. Technically for three and a red, but on two different turns. And then I get to impulsively draw the top card of my deck. Ooh, and then a Marsh Hulk, who has Megamorph for six and a black, and that sucks. Uh, and an island. Okay, so Dragons of Tarkir was me really hoping I pulled one of the Dragon Lords. Of course, with my luck, it would have been Colagon. The only one you can't really use in Commander. Yeah. I mean, you can. But you have no benefit compared to, say, Atarka, or Ojitai, or Silumgar, or Dramok. The rest. The, uh, compared to the rest. Also, uh, Ugin's not in this. Oh. Ugin's in Fate Reforged. Dang. That, I knew there was something I in my head. I was going like, that doesn't sound right. That's why we didn't pull Ugin. He's not even in this set. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Okay. Um, it's a sparkly marshal. It's a sparkly marshal. We have that going for us. Uh, Ugin would have been very impressive, considering he's not in this set. <laughs> okay. And now the oldest modern legal pack I own. Core 2013. Uh, I want to say this is one of the ones I bought when I was first making the prize box. I took $50 down to uh, bases and just bought a little bit of everything. And so now this is not going to be in the prize box. This is going to be in here um, as part of my deck. And this is not the oldest booster pack I've opened because I've gotten a few uh, pre-modern border ones. Uh, but uh, I opened those and those are gone now. I got an invasion pack out of one of those uh, triple packs at Target once. Uh, but this is before Parkir, so it has the old border. The, well, not old border, but the old modern border? 
sure. Hey, another Kindled Fury. Actually, I don't know if I opened a Kindled Fury. I might be thinking of the cards I was sorting. A Titanic Growth, a Chandra's Fury. This is an angry pack. <laughs> it's angry that it's the last one. War Clamp Mastiff. I have never seen this before. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1 with First Strike. He's a good boy is what he is. He's going to protect his owner. Uh, we got an Index, which I want to say that's... That, is that Guff? I'm bad with the old Planeswalkers. Uh, attended Knight. He's 2-2 two, two with First Strike for 3. Comes with a 1-1. One, one. That's always kind of fun. Hey, a Duress with the art I don't like. And with the Lily flavor text, because Lily used to be a jerk. Uh, Yeva's Force Mage. Ooh, okay, so she, so he's a 2-2 two, two for 3, but he's also a weakened giant growth. That's not too bad. Ooh, and with Yarrick, he's a titanic growth. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, very nice. Spiked Baloth. I mean, a 4-2 with Trample for 4 does make me kind of happy. Wall of Fire, it's a 0-5 with Fire Breathing. I can live with that. Duskdale Worm, a 7-7 seven, seven for 7 with Trample. That's almost as good as a 6-6 six, six for 6 with Trample. Ooh, boy. Talran's Invocation, make two drakes. Don't mind if I do. Kite Sail. Equip creature has plus 1, plus 0, and has flying. For 4 mana. That's expensive. But okay. And then we have... Thragtut! Oh! <laughs> oh! I am totally using a Thrag Tusk. <laughs> okay. So now I have a bunch of cards. What do I do with a bunch of cards? You make a deck with them. Thank you. I wasn't sure about that step. So let's let's stack these. And then look at our possible commanders. Because uh, what I have opened here today is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight possible commanders. And also, sorry, uh, Adam, I didn't catch that you had gone to bed, so late good night. Oh, that's a tokens. All right. So we do have Yeheni. Now, if I do Yeheni, I have to be in mono black. That's a problem. Uh, Yeheni is really good because it can help me kill things. And when I kill things, Yeheni gets stronger. That's pretty nice. Every time a creature an opponent controls dies, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. That's pretty fun. Alright. He's saying that you speak the truth. I must build a deck. Yes. We have Maverin Fane. Uh, now, Maverin Fane has a couple advantages over other cards I pulled as commanders. Uh, he's another vampire, so he, he's the same tribe as Yeheni. Uh, he can't go into Yark, but he can go into Ariel, which Yeheni can as well. Um, whenever one or more non-token vampires I control attacks, he makes a vampire token. Nice. Also, you can sing his name to this tune of Chocolate Rain. That is very important to me in a card. All right. Now, we do have Arielle, Knight of Windgrace, and she cares about knights, but she also makes knights. And she is white-black, so I could take Maverin Fane and Yeheni and put them in Arielle and make vampire knights. That could be fun. Uh, I have no way of using every commander on this table. Uh, because, depending on who I pick, uh, somebody gets left out. And that somebody is typically going to be Ariel. Mm. Alright, so that's that's my Orzhov option. Now, if I go over here, I have Tiana. Tiana ship's caretaker is fun. She cares about auras and equipments. Uh, and she can help me recycle my auras and equipments. Neat. That can be very fun. I also have these two mono-red commanders, who, much like Maverin Fane, can go in Tiana. So I want to go pure red. I could do Valduk, who uh, at the beginning of combat on my turn for each aura and equipment, I get a 3-1 element, uh, each equipment or aura on him. I get a 3-1 elemental with trample and haste. And I can exile those tokens at the beginning of the next end step. That's pretty nice. And then we have Dracusef, who's a big mean dragon, who does big mean dragon things. 
Uh, I think Dracuseth works really well in the deck, mm. but not necessarily as my commander. No. But Ur Dragon works great for, as a commander. But Tiana could be the commander for both of them. She's kind of got that whole Rosie the Riveter vibe going, and I kind of love her. All right, and then we have Yarick. Now Yarick is the first one I opened and doubles up all of the my enter the battlefield triggers. All of them. Cool. That's very nice. And inside of Yarick, I can put a Trotta. A Trotta is a 3-5 who can't be blocked. When she deals combat damage, I can exile a creature they control and put a hit counter on it. And then, they lose the game if they own three or more exile cards with hit counters. But, every time she kills something, I have to shuffle her back into my library. I don't think she works great as a commander, though. Well, I mean, she works amazing as a commander, because if it says put her back in my library, I can just put her back in the command zone. Oh, okay. But, I like her in Yarick, even though she doesn't synergize with Yarick. Just because Yarrick lets me play with more cards. Right? Um, and a Trotta, then, uh, it becomes kind of a mini game of can I get her back? Yeah. And the green cards help me pull that off. The other nice part with Yarrick is Yarrick, I can take Yeheni as well and put him in that deck. I can do mean things with Yarrick. So, I don't think... Well, you know what? Here, let me do this. I'm going to look through my whites and pull out every knight and vampire I find. And if I can pull out at least 20... I think that's a little high, admittedly. Uh, knights and vampires can be any combination of the two. I can build Ariel. So, let's see. I don't think... I mean, the top card was a knight, so we're off to a good start. Um, hmm. Oh, we are quickly running out. <laughs> oh, here's another one. And a vampire. And a vampire. And a vampire knight. Only counts for one, though. And a vampire. And you're a duplicate. And you're not, so a vampire. And... Oh, wait. I passed some knights. Knight... Knight. No, wait. You're a copy. Knight. 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 Thing that makes knights. Knight. Knight. Oh, hold up. We might make knights work. Knight. Now, here's a weird idea. These human knights I can't do much with. But I can mutate a vampire knight. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. And then the vampire knight turned into a fox. So let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yarok does like to eat up my legends. I'm not going to deny that. Oh, here's a vampire. And a vampire. And a vampire. And... No, you're a scorpion. Scorpions are not vampires. No matter how much they want to be. On the inside. It'll never happen. Uh, that, that makes you like a vampire, but not a vampire. Oh, there's a vampire. And... I kind of wish I had pulled that white knight and that black knight. That would have been really cool. Ooh, okay. I will say Doom Whisper. I want to put in either black deck if I do black. He's just so cool. Oh, here's a vampire. And a vampire. And a vampire. And... That's it. Okay, so let's see how many vampires and knights I have pulled out. Did I get the 20 that I said we probably would need to even think about making Ariel work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Wait, 22. So yeah, we barely made it. Mm -hmm. Huh. So, we didn't have any Black Knights, sadly. We did have Black Vampires. We have 20, so this would make about a fifth of the deck Vampires and Knights. Vampires are there for Maverin Fane. And Yeheni basically just helps Maverin in that case. And white, uh, the Knights help Ariel. Uh, it's tempting. But 20 was like a low ball. So, as much as I like the idea of white vampire knights with uh, Ariel, I don't... Oh, I didn't look at my color list. Uh, I don't think I have a colorless vampire. Or, I might have a colorless knight. I don't think so, though. Golem, bird, Karn, golem, golem, scarecrow, bird bug. Yeah, we opened a Karn, by the way. Hmm. So, when this league is all done... Cool! Yeah. I'm gonna do fun things with him. Uh, okay. So, there are options for black-white, but I don't think any of them are quite strong enough. Uh, and yes, the vampire for Ariel is because I have Maverin in the 99. Um... That said, I could take those white vampires and bump them over into red for auras and equipments. So let's put the black cards back. Uh, take out dub. Dub. And now let's see how many auras and equipments we have. Let's start with equipments. One equipment. Ah, ah, ah. Two equipment. I'm not going to keep doing that. Um, three. Four. Do I have a strider? No, okay. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, so we got eight equipments. Let's check white for auras. I guess also equipments, but I don't think I opened any. Two, three, uh, seems like three. See if red has a bunch of equipments. Or I guess it wouldn't. It would have a bunch of auras, is what I meant. Aura, 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 aura. Uh, one. Ah, oh, that's a duplicate. Two, three, okay, so now if I go with Tiana, I have six auras and eight equipments that I can put on any variety of creatures. Uh, which is kind of tempting. It would give me a chance to use that Colossus Hammer. Now, the plus side with Tiana is I can build a red-white equipment auras deck on top of Yarek. You know what? Let's build two decks. 
that basically only leaves Ariel out of the game. Yeheni can go chill over here. Maverin can come hang out with his new friend Tiana. Okay. Okay. We're going to do something stupid. That's what this is. This is something stupid. If you ever watch those Cyanide and Happiness shorts, want to see something stupid? That's what we're about to do. All right, so I'm going to put Tiana and her little stack of cards up here. Uh, let's start with Yarrick. So, if we're building Yarrick, one, we can just easily take out all of those. All of those. Uh, no, yes, 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 no, yes. No, 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 yes, yes, no. Eh. Eh. No, 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 eh. No, 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 yes, no, yes, 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 not looking at what they are. Just looking at color identity right now. Sorry, Johnny. I love you. You'll go in something else one day. <sighs> These were really good pulls for my Coria, but they do not help me here. Okay. These cards are out entirely. Then we can go through the lands. Yes, no. Yes, 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 no. No, 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 yes, yes, Tiana, no, yes, and while I'm in here, we're going to put the Desert Evolving Wilds in Tiana, and we're going to put the Ikoria Evolving Wilds in Yarrick. Cool. Then those go over there. Those are cards we can't use. Okay. Uh, this is a late, late ass stream. It's a late ass stream. Look how late this late ass stream is. All right. Oh, shuffle you any back in there, I guess. Cool. There's us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. I'm not counting them yet, because we need to make our sixty-four. So for our sixty-four. Uh, we want ones, twos, threes, four, etc. So, three, four. Also four. I'm gonna make it work. How? I don't know. But I'm gonna try my best to make it work. Traveler's Amulet. Wait, did I get a better Traveler's Amulet? Nah. Nah, I only pulled the Ixalan one. Um, I think... I do like Karn, but I think if we have equipments, Karn goes over in her. Uh, I don't want to use a Prismite. Well, if I have to. And since this is the one with the weird cards, Adaptive Shimmer goes over here. Cool. Alrighty. So, one thing I want to do is since Yarok is all weird looking, I want cards with ETBs, and I want Heldrazi. I think that's not a lot to ask. Because um, it's any permanent, right? So it's here. Um, oh, Death Sprout is good removal. That's a definite yes for the three col or the four column. It's not a uh, you need this type of a card, but I mean it's nice. Uh, maybe you're a duplicate, so you're out. You're. You're in the wrong column. Eh. Eh. 
Ah, enter the battlefield effect. That's what we want. Uh, Jungle Creeper's fun. I don't know if we're going to cycle. Decimator Beetle could be a lot of fun. Mind Melter, you're in Eldrazi, so you're in. Um, these are going to be our maybes over here. Uh, I will tell you right now, you know who has a enter the battlefield effect is Thrag Tusk. Uh, and Yeva's Force Mage. And we want enters the battlefield effects. Oh, look at that Scion Summoner, who's also an Eldrazi. Ha ha. Um, you're a maybe. Do, 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 you're a maybe. You're an enter the battlefield effect. Uh, I'm going to count you as a seven. Nah, you're an eight. You're an eight. All right. Uh, you're a dies effect. Oh, wait. Permanent enter the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent control to trigger. Well, then durable handicraft is a yes. Uh looking through my cards, trying to find a thing. I would like to explore twice. That sounds really fun. And maybe make some dino friends along the way. Ooh, and make some sapperling friends along the way. And a centaur. And an indrick. That's actually not bad. More life gain. More life gain. On a mana dork. Why not? Uh, Thundering Ceratok, you do have an enter the battlefield effect. I can't give a creature double trample. Can I? No. There's no such thing as double trample. Oh, Arboreal Grazer, heck yeah. Okay. Uh, Healer of the Glade also sounds fun. Now this one's going to be a headache. Because Wolf Rider Saddle would enter the battlefield, and it would create a wolf, and then attach the saddle to the wolf. But I would get two wolf triggers, so what would happen is, is it would create the first wolf and attach the saddle, and then immediately remove the saddle and put it onto the second, newer wolf. Sure. Oh, you're a maybe. Uh, mutate effect. Mutate effect. Ah, I do like mutates. Alright, mutates go into the maybes. As well as this. And that. Alright, cool. That was green. We're just looking for enter the battlefield effects. I'm not even caring what they are for the most part. Stromkirk Mentor, you only care about vampires, but that's fine. I will find you a friend, I think. No, you're a maybe. Get out of here. I lied. I am thinking about the effect. But hey, I'll drowsy. Hmm, my mana curve seems to be a wall. So 
So enters the battlefield or in Eldrazi's. That's what I'm looking for. Oh! Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Me losing two life will never come back to haunt me. Yes, it will. Uh, Ooh, Cartouche of Ambition. Soul Stinger. I could just make him a 0-1 that then debuff something. That could be a lot of fun. Uh, Interloper, another Explores twice now. Uh, okay, still looking... Hmm. Okay. Black did not have as many enters the battlefield effect. Ooh. I am going to do the free casting from my graveyard spell. Ooh. And the big flample. Big flample. Ooh. And a mass. Ooh, and a mass. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess I could. I have some recursion. I'm bad at recursion, so let's see how much this comes back to bite me. Okay. So that was black. Now, oh, actually, let's look at colorless enters the battlefield, dies, deals damage, uh, the chalice I think I already have on here, yep, Glim barrier I already have on here, yep, that was it, oh man, if Yara is already out, adaptive shimmerer, uh, no, is enters the battlefield with effects? triggered? No, I don't think so. It counts as putting counters onto something, but it doesn't count as triggered by entering the battlefield. So, that might work with giving me a 6-6? Six, six? I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Slip through space. That's fun. Gift of Tusks is a maybe. Uh, that's just good removal. Ah, the Vexing Scuttler. Um, maybe. Ah, here we go. Fog Walker. He freezes a dude. Thing is, I do not have a lot of... You're a maybe. You're in the maybe pile. Maybe pile. Aether Swooper has an Enter the Battlefield effect. Maybe Pile. Who am I kidding? You're a yes. Uh, enters the Battlefield. This is way too many cards. Enters the Battlefield. That's a whenever I cast. Enters the battlefield. Enters the battlefield. Can't be blocked. This is how building commander deck works, right? You just add everything you want and then cry as you have to remove things. That seems right. I realize that none of this is right. Uh, that none of this is how I should be doing it. 
But here we are. I already have a sleep paralysis in there. A seven mana creature. Okay. So I have too many cards. Yeah, EDH Building 101. You you add too many cards, and then you cry about it. Yeah, that's right. I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, all right. So let's count what we got. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. I still don't have enough. This is only 58 cards. And you need 65. Or 64 to be your 99. So, time for instants and sorceries? That feels right. Well, let's look, go through our maybes. It was 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. No, uh, that's not how this is going to work. I do think Aether Trade wins belongs. Uh, Metallurgic Summons, I love you, but I don't think I have enough instants and sorceries. Gift of Tusks is also a maybe. Stromkirk Mentor, I do like you, but we don't actually have any Vampire Tribal going on here, so you're out. Uh, you would work really well if we did Ariel. But we didn't. We need to accept that. Um, I'm not going to lie, I didn't actually use a lot of those vampires. So I maybe could build Ariel on top of both of them. Uh, Adventurous Impulse would be very helpful. Survivor's Bond could be very helpful. Migratory Great Horn. I don't have a lot of mutation as it is. But I can mutate him on top of almost everything in this deck. Because I don't think I have a human in here. Do I not have a human in here? A Dire Fleet and a Loker. There's one. And a Trotta. I have two humans in the whole fucking deck. Language. Sorry. Uh, that's not true. I mean, that was language. But that's not true. I think there's a third human. She's right there. Scholar of Ages. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I do Essence Symbiote, I'd want to make like a little mutate package, I think. And I think Gift of Paradise would be useful. I did like the little werewolf thing, but it only works with like this one guy. Uh, so I don't think Halpak Resurgence is worth it. He goes back in the green stack. Ashiok feels like it'd just be too mean. Uh, okay, I do like Applied Biomancy. Eh, maybe Ashiok. Alright, so now I have too many of these, so... Eh, there you go. Scuttle Gator... You're not worth it. You're a trap. And I don't think I'm going to be cycling. I don't think cycling's happening here. Uh, personal opinion. Alright, so Shrill Howler I like. Okay. But then if I made that little mutate suite. Let's see, what do I have that can make a mutation suite? Uh, well, those are all my green mutates, so that was easy. Uh, black. Black mutate. What do I got? Ooh. Mutual destruction might be fine.
Mark Dargan. Cavern Whisperer would be good. Insatiable Hemophage would be good. Okay, okay. Do I have enough to get into Mutate Shenanigans? Oh, I have just enough to get into Mutate Shenanigans. Hold up. Alright. Okay, so... The other way I can do it is I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6 here for Mutate Shenanigans. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at making my deck wrong. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to make 8 sweets. 8 sweets. Uh, terrifying bullshit sweet. That's important. Removal. Let's pick some removal. So I have mutual destruction. Uh, I saw some other removal in here. I saw a sleep paralysis. And a... Where did the Aether card go? Aether Trade wins. So time to do the sweet method. So the sweet method is, is I'm gonna build eight stacks of eight. Uh, so let's see here. So Eldrazi. Eldrazi is a stack of eight. So actually you're not Eldrazi, you are unblockable. So miscloaked, miscloaked. Shrill Howler, you're technically unblockable. You're evasion, I should say. Evasion. Uh, terrifying bullshit is the Eldrazi. So, Thought Not. Petrata can't be blocked, so she's an unblockable. Death Sprout is removal. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Uh, Fogwalker, you're hard to block. Sky Scourer, you're in the terrifying bullshit category. Scion Summoners in terrifying bullshit. Soul Stinger is in terrifying bullshit, as is Doom Whisperer. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven. Okay. Terrifying bullshit is at seven. Uh, hmm. Oh. Uh, this is technically unblockable, but that's not why I have it. Okay, then we have uh, combat tricks. So, applied biomancy is a combat trick. Oh, unblockable. So that's six in our unblockable suite. Recursion suite. Yeah, alright. We're just going to start stacking these. Getting them out of the way. Combat tricks. Removal. Unblockable. Mutation. Your removal. Instincts and sorceries matter. Terrifying bullshit. Instincts and sorceries matter. Alright, so now we look through these. Recursion. Right there. Recursion suite. And there's other recursion cards. Oh, and... Uh, Enters the battlefield matters. Uh, oh, but I don't have a card draw suite. So maybe I don't want a combat trick suite, and this goes into my removal suite. And then I have my card draw suite. Haha! -ha. 
And did I not? Hmm. Enters battlefield. Enters battlefield. Um. Nope. Because what I need is ramp. What am I ramping into? Absolutely nothing, but I need it. Ramp, ramp. Ramp and fixing, I should say. So, fixing, fixing, recursion. Although, I don't have a lot of recursion. So maybe the recursion is part of my instance and sorceries. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Evasion. Uh, enters the battlefield? Nah. Nah. Enters the battlefield. Enters the battlefield. Enters the battlefield. Ramp. Enters the battlefield. Ramp. T technically, this is ramp. Uh, you know what? I don't need... Do I need you in there? Maybe. You're a maybe, if I've ever seen one. If you are one, you go with that. Uh, because of that, you... Go over here. Wait, where's my removal? Here. Terrifying bullshit. Yep. And there's the battlefields. And there's the battlefield. Terrifying. Recursion. Mana. 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 Terrifying. Okay. Now we see what we have. Okay. So our Enter's Battlefield is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. So admittedly oh except you can also be recursion ha 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 that's eight cards this one's done good let's look here a recursion one two three four i don't have enough recursion i'm gonna need to look for more recursion mutate one two three four five six let's take a look at the other ikoria cards and see if there's more mutate matters oh your card draw uh uh, you're a looter. That's card draw. Oh. You're an anticipate. That's a way better card draw. Uh, ha, 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 ha. This is... Where'd my removal go? There it is. Hmm. Recursion. Gotta find more recursion. That's the name of the game here. Your instance and sorceries matter. Artifacts matter does not go in this deck. I have come to realize. Recursion. 
And yet, those were also instants and sorceries. Hmm. Removal. Uh, okay, I don't like strategic planning as much as anticipate. It's not as good. And yet, with the recursion, I can make it into card draw. Yep. Okay. Oh. Card draw. Duh, it says draw so many cards right there. Looking, looking, looking. It's getting late, so yes, we'll see you later, Brad. And I will continue building this for now, I think. Yes. Alright. Looking for recursion, looking for recursion, trying to find little recursion. Guess that is corpse churn. But I don't like corpse churn that much. Hmm. Card draw. Problem is just trying to find the right kind of recursion here. Ah, right there. Bond of Revival. That's recursion. Okay. Let's see, how much is in our recursion? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't quite like that one. <sighs> Let's look at the terrifying bullshit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, except this one is a recursion. Haha. -ha. So now we have one too many here. But our recursion is done. Very good. And we have one. Oh, he's unblockable. So he goes in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Terrifying. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Terrifying. Perfect. Ha ha ha. This is still six. This is just going to stay six. Sure. Now we look at ramp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Too many. So let's see here. What's good and what's bad? Honestly, Centaur Nurture can go. Uh, it is nice to have another Mana Dork that can tap for anything. Uh, actually, if I had to pick, I would get rid of Sailor of Means first. Uh, Scuttlemutt's not bad. Uh, you know, one more mana. I get three life, and I don't need to worry about it with the Locket. Yeah, okay. Because the Locket locked us into a color. So yeah, there we go. So there's our ramp. Though to be fair, as foretold, is also kind of instance and sorceries matter. Sure. Alright, so now we have our removal. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
there a better one than Mutual Destruction for just destroy target creature? I have a bunch of black. It probably... There probably is. There probably is. Let's see what we got. Do 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 uh, nope. Uh, this one's five mana, so no. I'd like efficient removal, thank you. Oh, I have a can't be blocked. That's pretty helpful. Uh... Uh, I think Mutual Destruction is the best I have, but I don't like it. It's nice and cheap. I don't like it. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have two that are too short, which is a problem. But, by having two that are too short, that can let me add a mini suite, I think? Recursion. And... No, no. Maybe the Gift of Tusks, but I'm not sold on it. Nah. Eh. 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 Um. Looking for, like, one last good card. I guess part of me's tempted to put in the Ashiok. Can't really mill somebody out. But I can stop them from tutoring. Which admittedly feels a little mean. Am I willing to be mean to my friends? Well, yes. But should I? Probably not. They were nice enough to let me play with a pile of garbage. Um, so maybe then, instead of Ashiok's The Dream Render... I should go with something a little nicer. Uh, let me look in blue for cares about instants and sorceries then. Instant sorceries, instant sorceries. Uh, oh, a eh, card with prowess wouldn't be too bad. Oh, you know what? We'll do engulf the shore. I, I, this is honestly getting pretty blue. Okay, so now we sort by cost. Three, two, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, 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 yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This deck is a pile of cards. That's all I have made is a pile of cards today. But this pile of cards might just save the world. Duh, no, 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 it won't. Uh, it'll at least be fun to play with my friends. That's the important part. So. Let's see here. Because what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out my mana cost, because that's a very important part of this process. Uh, not my mana cost, my mana curve. 
Thankfully, it does look like our giant wall of three is basically gone. That's important. Nobody wants the giant wall of three. There's still a bit of a wall of three. It's not a giant wall of three. You see. We've got more twos rounding it out, more fours. Got these eights over here, they're kind of weird. Because nobody thinks to themselves, oh boy, an eight drop. But here we are. We have eight drops. To do, to do, to do, to do, to do. All right, we still have a little bit of a wall. Nowhere near as bad. That's a much better curve. It's steep, but it's better. Yeah, the, the sweet method worked. Okay. So now, important steps. Taking the artifacts out. And sorting them by color again. Green, blue, black, blue, blue, multi, blue, multi, green, blue, black, blue. Now why am I taking the color of this out? You might ask, well that's very simple. I don't need to worry about it for my mana costs other than the ones with the colorless symbol of which there is one. So, you know, less of a concern there. But hey, might as well, right? Okay. Green, blue, blue, black, blue, blue. Whee! Blue, black, green, gold, colorless, black, multi, Green, gold, blue, blue, green, black, blue, blue, green, black, blue, black, blue, green, oh, I threw a black on the green pile. Green, blue, blue, uh, technically a blue, technically a green, okay. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count these all up, I'm going to pick out some basics, and I'm going to build a deck, and then I'm going to play against these guys. And I will probably stream some of that, uh, and I have a feeling so will Adam, and so may Brad. So, of course, make sure you're following Matt Olaf on Twitch so you can see Adam's half of things. I think this is where I'm calling it tonight. I'm going to build Yark tonight. I'm going to build uh, Tiana off-camera, I think's the way to go. Uh, partially because my ring light is blinding me. There, this is a regular amount of light for my eyes. Everything's so dim. Uh, but yes, thank you for watching. If you enjoy this, make sure you are subscribed over on YouTube and that you have liked and commented. Make sure that you are following here on Twitch. If you want to support us, make sure you subscribe on Twitch or you support us on Patreon. And of course, you can also follow me on TikTok or Twitter at Alchemy Prime. Hope you have a great day. If you want more magic content or more video game content, let me know. I aim to please. And uh, see you all next time.